Hello YouTube, Total Henry here. Before I start this manga haul slash comic uh, haul video, I just want to say that I am trying to make videos again. I was trying to uh, make one art video per, per week. Um, I just don't have time to make videos, uh, art videos every single day. I'm at college and I'm in the middle of a really tough semester. I'm taking six classes, so a lot of homework. And I didn't get a video out last week. But I, and I won't be able to get a video out, an art video out this week because I have a lot of um, art projects and other homework to do for class. So I thought, why not show the manga and comics that I bought and why not get at least one video out? So I'm doing my best. Um, I have some other, um, there are a lot of other anime and manga characters that I wanted to draw. Like I have a, a Goku uh, video coming up. And by coming up, I mean I have an image, a Goku image or pose that I want to draw and upload to this channel. Um, I've also just finished uh, Runin Kenshin not too long ago, so I want to draw characters from that and upload that because I really enjoyed that manga. But anyway, um, let's just get started with the uh, books. Um, I only have about seven things, but I think they're all really, really good. And as I said, I just wanted to get a, a video out. So I'm going to start with the manga and then I'll go into the American comics. So the first uh, manga that I picked up is Astra Lost in Space. Um, this manga is already completed. You can read this, read this for free on weeklyshonenjump.com. Weekly um, so you can read it online legally. Um, and it's five volumes, 40, 49 chapters on. As I said, it's ended and it's... It, so it was really, really good, and I'm so happy that the physical uh, vol volumes are now out because I really enjoyed this series, and I want to support the official release and also have a physical copy of it. So basically what the series is about is it takes place in, in the future, um, and these characters are going on a, uh, a camp in outer space, and all of a sudden they go through this wormhole and they are lost in in space and they have it's about their journey back to their home their home world and some really interesting things develop and it's just such a great manga and the author he did he's known for um doing another manga called uh, skeet dance i think i think it's pronounced that way um I have not, not read it, but that was his main hit, and now this is his next series. So anyway, Astra Lost in Space, looking forward to collecting the entire series and rereading it again, because this was really, really good. The next manga is an unknown one, Crying Freeman. Um, there are the, uh, the author right here, Kazuo Ko Koike, I probably butchered his name. He was the author behind the hit manga Lone Wolf and Cub. And then the artist Ryoichi Ikigami. Um, he, I, I saw him in a Manben video. For those of you who don't know, uh, Manben is a, Japan, is a Japanese video series um, or TV show done by the manga artist Naoki Urasawa. And Urasawa goes around to other manga artists and films them drawing, and then he talks to them about it while showing you, the viewer, um, their drawing process. So for aspiring artists like, like me, it's incredibly cool and incredibly inspiring. So uh, this art, so the, the artist right right here was on one of the episodes, so I was very interested in picking up one of his um, works. Uh, so and I was just happened to be at a. Uh, comic book store the other day and I wasn't expecting to find to find this I wasn't looking for this and here it is so I'm super excited to read this I don't really know what it's about the art is pretty good it's um, sort of like 80s style very um, manly masculine kind of reminds me of uh, Fist of the North style artwork but anyway it's about this guy right here his name is Yo Hinomura and he's an assassin for the Chinese mafia, and he has to, he has to, to kill them, but uh, every time he kills them, he can't help but cry. Like he he doesn't want to, but somehow he's he's commanded to kill them, and he's forced to to kill them. So I'm super excited to read this. Um, I think it's a short series. Um, there are five five volumes. I believe that's the entire series. It's put out by Dark Horse. These are really nice uh, volumes. 
Um, so yeah, Crying Freeman, and I would check out those Man Men videos, M-A-N-B-E-N. -E Maybe if I remember, I'll post uh, a link in the description to a few of the videos that are actually on YouTube. Um, sub subtitle with e English sub subtitles. Not all of them have English subtitles, but a few of them do. Um, so yeah, Crying Freeman, really looking forward to uh, reading that. Maybe I'll get the rest of it if I like it. Then the last manga volume I got is Par Parasite. I picked this up um, just because I'd heard it really good things about it. Um, you can pause the video to read that, but it's basically about parasites that come down, or I don't know where, it, where I don't really know where they came from because I've only read the first volume, but they take over humans, and the main character he stops it before he's taken over. Um, so now the parasite is only taken over his hand, and it's actually it's really really good, really funny. There are some there's some great um, sort of battle uh, moments like that right there. The weird hand is the uh, parasite. Can you see that? There you go. Um, yeah, this also has sort of an '80s art style uh, vibe. I think it was actually published in the '80s. Um, so yeah, there's actually, um, there's, it's kind of a battle comic. Um, so far in the first volume, there's, there's been a few, a few battles. Um, it's also a relatively short series. I think there's only like eight, eight volumes and they're all out in, in English. So that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, I can't wait to read more of, of Parasite. I really, I really enjoyed what I read. So now on to the American comics. And as maybe you can guess from the title of the, the video, they're all Batman. So if you don't like Batman, you can leave. Um, <laughs> please stay and watch. So this first book, I was at my uh, college uh, bookstore the first week of classes buying textbooks for this uh, required English class sort of thing. We, we, we have to read. It's I don't really know what the class is. I don't really know how to describe the class. You just, it's about the human experience, and we're reading a bunch of different things like parts of the Bible, the tale of Gilgamesh, um, and just a, a Plato, and a lot of stuff, just to try to connect the human experience. I, I, I don't really know. But anyway, I noticed that another teacher teaching the same exact course, one of the required textbooks or required readings was a Batman comic that I really wanted to read. And it was Batman The Dark Knight Returns. Can you see the title? There you go. Um, maybe my hand was covering it. And I was so annoyed because I love comics, as you can probably tell. My professor didn't assign us any comics. So I, 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 had, I had to buy this. Um, and I'd actually told my friend to bring his copy to, to uh, college for this semester so I could read it. And then I ended up buying my, my own copy. Um, so this comic is done by uh, Frank Miller. He's the brains behind this comic and it's one of the most famous um, uh, comic books ever well, probably one of the certainly one of the most famous Batman comics ever and it's basically about Batman uh, is is gone and then he he comes back and he's now like 50 or, or 60 years old and so clearly he's not in his uh, physical prime anymore and he has to deal with all these bad guys and just the crumbling um, city of Gotham and it's just gone, gone to hell. So it's really dark, it's really gritty. Um, so if, I mean, there's a lot of praise for this. People really love it. I, I feel like I need to read it again because I am not, I was not this excited a, about it. Um, it's also very, very dense. There's a lot of text, maybe not necessarily on this page, but there are, it's, it's, it's very dense, so I think I need to give this an, another read. Or maybe just I, I'm used to reading dark, grit, gritty comics, and this was would have been better read in the 80s when it came, came out. I think this came out in the 80s. Um, when it came out and it was just like brand new and such a shock. But e either way, this is a must-read for Batman fans and for comic book fans. And I'm really glad I have it. So The Dark Knight Returns. Now, the next uh, Batman comic is connected to Dark Knight Returns, and it is The Dark Knight Returns, The Last Crusade. 
Um, I have not read this one yet. I bought this a, f a few days ago. And I think this is just judging what it says on the back. This is the prequel to The Dark Knight Re Returns. And it's basically Batman's last uh, fight before going into retirement. And then I guess the, it would lead into Dark Knight Returns. This was written after uh, the Dark, Dark Knight Returns. And it deals with the Joker and one of the Robins. His name is listed. Robin's name is listed here, 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 here somewhere. I think it might be Jason. I, I forget which Batman it is. Um, yeah, J. J, J, Jason Todd. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to re reading this. Um, so you can see it's more modern art. I think Frank Miller is only the writer in this because um, this does not look like his art style at all unless it changed drastically. So, yeah, I don't really have too much to say in this because I, I haven't r read it yet. But, um, yeah, really looking forward to reading this, The Dark Knight Returns Last Crusade. Um, if you've read this, I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, no spoilers. I haven't read it. So, next Batman book is something I'm in the middle of, and it's a Batman celebration of 75 years. I've This is my third one of these that I have. I read the Joker and the Wonder Woman one. Pretty sure I showed those off on my, on my channel. And I absolutely love these books because it collects... Um, DC superheroes starting with their very first um, comic. Like this is from Batman's very first comic. And then it just goes through the years and shows different um, Bat Batman comics. And you can see how the art of art evolves o over the years. Like this was, I believe, from 1939 or something. Something insane like that. And then, that, then as you go, you can see the art starts to gradually get better. Um, I think this was probably... 50s or, or 60s and then just yeah as you as you keep going has um different um comics throughout the the ages all the way up to like like modern times like new 52 2014 2015 um so yeah i'm, I'm I, I love these books i'm really enjoying it it's a nice um snapshot at a character so if you for some reason, I've never read a Batman comic, or I when I got the Wonder I got the Wonder Woman one because I'd never really read Wonder Woman, and it's a very good way to introduce yourself to the character, and you can see the character evolve, um, as well as the art, which I as an artist I'm very interested in, in seeing. Um, so yeah, as I said, I, I'm in the middle of it. There's my bookmark. I had something else to say about this. Um, but yeah, I highly re recommend these. You can find list, a list of um, all the different uh, characters that uh, DC has put out um, book, books like this for. As I said, I know there's Batman, Joker, Wonder Woman, there's Superman, Aquaman, Flash. I think there's like a Teen Titans one, um, Shazam, I think. Um, yeah, a anyway, yep, another Batman comic, old school Bat Batman. You can read that if you are so inclined. So now, the very last book I'm going to show you guys next week. No. Did, please tell me if someone laughed. Please tell me if one person laughed at that. So my next, my last book is Batman Unwrapped, Death of the Family. Um, so I, my last manga haul, I, was it my last manga haul? A previous manga haul, not, not too long ago, I got another Batman Unwrapped book, and I absolutely love these because this is the pencil version, pencils by um, Greg Cap Capullo. Um, uh, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo are the brains behind uh, Batman New, New 52. Um, and this is just uh, part of the, a number of issues just left with his uh, pencils. And they're absolutely uh, go gorgeous. That looks more a little. Maybe there's some inking going on there. But for for, for the mo most part, it's just his pencils. And as I said before, as an artist, I'm very interested in this. And as you're reading, you can see he makes little notes. Like for the inkers, he will make little X's where he wants like it to be filled in black. And it's just really it was really really great. I read the Batman Unwrapped Court of Owls, and the story was amazing. So I have high hopes that this story will be just as good. 
and also you get to experience his incredible art. Like, I personally love black and white art uh, more than uh, col color art most of the time, like, gen generally speaking. And just l look at that. Like, that, I think, is just incredible. And then on, on the back right here. So, yeah, um, at, one, at some point I want to get... Um, I want to read uh, the regular Batman uh, New 52 run because I hear incredible things. And I've already read the Court of Owls story arc in the unwrapped um, edition. And now I'm going to read The Death of the Family. I did see there is another unwrapped uh, book for uh, Flash, the first trade of Flash, the first eight issues of Flash New 52 um, with featuring Francis Met Metapol's, uh artwork. If you haven't heard of him, I would look him up because he's one of the best artists in the business, I think. Has a real um, like um, watercolor style to it, which looks really, really neat and I think is really, really unique. Really, 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 really. Um, so yeah, that is my uh, manga haul. Um, or it's mostly Batman haul. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try my best to come out with a, an art video for next week or hopefully in the ne next few few weeks so if you guys have any su suggestions for what what the art video should be whether i should go back to drawing more pokemon like um because there are tons of pokemon that i still need i need to draw um i still need to draw the Alol alolan form pokemon or maybe you want me to do another a anime character, a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, because I, I love draw drawing those. Um, so yeah, so leave comments down there in the comment section about stuff like that that you want to see, or any other comic books or mangas that you think I would enjoy. Um, this video's gone on longer than I thought, but um, I had fun making it. So thank you for watching.